Hi, this is Lindsay Oden, Special Research Assistant at the Washington State Attorney General's Office. In this series, our office will be releasing clips from our Oral History Project, an ongoing effort to collect and preserve the history of the Attorney General's Office as told by the people who have worked here over the years. In our first episode, our current Attorney General Bob Ferguson interviews former Attorney General and U.S. Senator Slade Gordon. Senator Gordon served three terms as Attorney General of Washington State from 1969 to 1981. He was later elected to the U.S. Senate, where he served three terms from 1981 to 1987 and from 1989 to 2001. In this clip, Senator Gordon describes how he was convinced to come to Washington State by a young Washington State Senator's moving speech at the 1952 Republican National Convention. Let's take a listen. Hello, uh, my name is Bob Ferguson. I'm the Attorney General for Washington State, and it's my great honor uh, today uh, to be interviewing uh, U.S. Senator Slate Gordon, who for purpose of this conversation, uh, we're thinking of as General Gordon, who served three terms as Attorney General for the state of Washington uh, from 1968, of course, until 1980. Just as we were chatting a few moments ago, uh, you reminded me of a story which seemed like an appropriate place to start, which is how a previous Attorney General, General Eastfold, was actually pivotal to you as a, I think you said as a law student, to decide to come out to Washington State. And maybe we just start with, with you uh, telling that story. I first began to think about the state of Washington between my second and third years of law school at Columbia. I grew up in the Midwest. My family were Easterners. I would uh, never set foot uh, out here. But <clears throat> the 1952 Republican National Convention was the last major party convention in which you didn't know who the presidential nominee would be when the convention started. Uh, the great battle was over four contested Southern delegations in days before there was any significant Republican Party in any Southern state. <clears throat> and the first debate was over the Georgia delegation. And uh, with a college friend of mine, uh, while I was a legal intern at Ropes and Gray in uh, Boston in that summer of 1952, I watched that convention with great interest. And <clears throat> the Eisenhower people picked to speak on their behalf a young state senator from somewhere around Tacoma in Pierce County, Don Eastfold. Uh, the debate was over the rules of uh, whether or not contested delegations could vote on their own seating. And Don Eastfold, this young state senator, waved the rule book back and forth in front of the television camera, arguing for the Eisenhower side of the issue, and won. And once that was won, the convention was over. Eisenhower was going to be nominated. And I, <coughs> with no particular sense of direction in my <laughs> life at that time, thought, wow, that's got to be a great place. And look at that marvelous, successful, you know, young Republican mm -hmm. uh, politician. At the end of the summer, I was offered a full-time job at uh, Ropes and Gray. Uh, I had been working for Elliot Richardson, who had one of the highest sets of grades in the history of Harvard Law School. And I said no. Uh, I wanted to do more with my life than keep my nose above water and uh, you know, ropes and gray, and ended up picking the state of Washington, uh, in large measure uh, influenced by that speech by Don Eastbrook. That's remarkable, who later became Attorney General, of course, from 52 to 56. <laughs> the great irony is that I didn't know at the time there was only one Attorney General between Don Eastbrook and me. <laughs> He right. used that, the, right. the fame that he got from that performance, uh, to make a successful uh, run for attorney general mm -hmm. that summer and fall in 1952 mm -hmm. and served one term. Right. That's a fascinating story. That was an attorney general who helped uh, uh, give you some uh, encouragement to come on out to Washington State. So. He, he ended to be an idol with feet of clay, but that's another <laughs> that's story. Another story. Thanks for listening to this episode in AGO History. Be sure to like and subscribe to receive updates when we upload a new episode. On our next episode, Senator Gordon talks about running for Attorney General and winning the office by a razor-thin margin, so be sure to tune in for that. Thanks again, and talk to you again soon.